I bought a cheap 996 Turbo that I thought was potentially a good deal and it turns out it's actually a terrible deal. I've been working for the past nine months or so trying to restore this car back to an OEM plus kind of spec and the biggest issue facing this car was its horrible, horrible paint job. In the last video you saw I got it all prepped for paint, took it to the paint shop, they started working on it. Well, in this video I'm going to reveal it, which it's right here and it looks really, really good. Just got word the car is finished. I'm going to go pick it up now. Now by finished I mean that all the paint work's done. The car is not back together. I still have to do that. I do have to put a little bit of it back together because I'm actually going to drive it back. We don't have to deal with trailers or anything like that. So I got to throw the headlights in it quick. I got to throw the taillights in it and whatever other miscellaneous things that it may need. But I'm super excited to see this thing. It's going to look amazing. Get in here? Yep. I'm scared. What? I'm scared. <laughs> oh man.
yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get the angles. See, it looks very clean like the owner now. Well, that's a nice haircut, buddy. I want to lower it. It's yeah, too high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so the two things we. It's got 150,000 miles. No. It's just a, it's just a driver. Literally, this now, you know, you added like at least five to ten thousand dollars. Oh yeah, for sure. No more dents and stuff. No, we did all the body work. You uh, see how clean? Yes. See how straight the car yeah, is right now? Freaking stupid dents up there. Yeah, oh, yeah, up here too. Nothing. Not that. Uh, you can't even see it, buddy. So much better. Mm -hmm. Just the camera. No. Come on. Man. You know, I'll buy from him. I will give him five thousand dollars extra on whatever <laughs> he spent on. Come on. <laughs> sell it right now. No. He doesn't want to sell it. <laughs> Hopefully no one can blame on YouTube and say, oh, the bumper doesn't match the, the car. Yeah, no more. But seriously, the car looked beautiful. I think the car looked beautiful. Uh, I love the color, and that's why I'm going to paint one of my cars the same speed yellow. I'm happy for you, and I can't wait to see it outside all put back together. Guys, visit me, please. MA Cars. MA Cars. He will, he will put my link. Thank you. <laughs> It'll be there. Bye. Finally. It's finally home, guys, and it looks amazing. I got a lot of work ahead of me, a lot of stuff I have to put back on this car. Some bonus boxes over there that have to go on that I think you guys will really enjoy. I know I'm going to enjoy. Lots to do in this video. There's nothing to it than to just get started putting parts back on it. And I can't wait to see this thing fully completed and outside in the sun. I actually haven't even seen it in the sun yet, just in the garage, but it looks amazing. You should be able to tell from the video that all the paint matches. All the same yellow and it all looks amazing. Mustafa's crew did a phenomenal job putting it together and did it really, really quickly. This car didn't need a lot of work, but I mean, Look at it. I'm gonna start with some relatively simple things, I think. The vents, maybe the door seals, the mirrors, things like that. And then we'll work onto the harder stuff. First thing, I just wanted to get the side vents in there, and if you'll notice, they no longer have the black plastic pieces in the middle. It's just the side vent. I think it looks great. Next up was the little seal slash trim piece that went below the window. It was popping it out really easily. I'm glad I took them out because that made their paint work that much better and that much easier. They can be a little tricky to finagle in there. Actually, on the driver's side, I ended up using a little bit of a glass cleaner just to make them slide in a little easier, and that would have helped on this side. But there's only one way to learn, and that's just to do it. Next up was the passenger side mirror. I didn't have to take that off. I'm not sure why I did. Obviously, you don't have to take the entire mirror housing off to put the glass back in. But either way, I got it in, and then time to throw it back on the car. Easy peasy. Simple job. 
then moving on to the dreaded door handles. These actually aren't too bad now that I've done them, you know, two, three, four, or five times. Try to diagnose other issues, but you can get them in and out pretty easily. I actually didn't finish this side until later because uh, I lost one of the pieces and then later found it. Rear windscreen wiper, easy peasy, goes on and off, no problem. No, I'm not going to delete this, guys. I know a lot of guys say that it looks cleaner without it. I actually don't mind it. I've never had a vehicle or a car, I should say, with a rear window wiper, and I don't mind it. And I've actually used it in the rain before, so it's going to stay. I know this car it sort of has some GT2 clone vibes to it, but I, I'm not trying to clone a GT2, so at least for now, I'm leaving the windshield wiper. I took apart a whole bunch of stuff in the engine compartment, the kind of the rear lid area. It's like a whole housing that houses the fan. There's a little light in there. It's a cover. It's a whole thing. I took that all out for the paint guys, so get it back in. It was kind of annoying, but it really wasn't too bad. It's just a whole bunch of bolts. There's some wires that are there that obviously run to the fan, to the light, to the third brake light. Those I zip-tied back up. I don't remember if they were zip-tied or not. They might have just been hanging there. Probably were based on how the previous owner treated this car, but I got them installed, got them zip tied and secured, and then cut the ends off for the clean look. Now these rear ducts, sheesh, this was the probably the worst part of this whole install. I actually feel bad. I should have taken the rear wing and stuff off for the paint guys. I didn't think about it at the time, or I wasn't sure how to take it off, ran out of time, etc. But getting these little ducts back in there was a huge pain. I think the wing's gonna come back off. They barely fit, they can only go on one way, and that's from the front, and they bolt in, and then there's a painted cover that goes on top of that that stays in with one of those push pins, and getting everything in there to line up perfectly was that's a huge design. pain, and I was really worried I was gonna damage the paint, but in the end, I did get them both installed without damaging the paint. They lined up, they fit really well, and it looks really, really nice. This GT2 rear wing, which I would never buy on my own, just looks really, really nice. I, I do like it a lot. So I'll give the previous owner credit there. He probably replaced it because, you know, he probably jumped on top of the old one and used it as a trampoline or something. But either way, I'm glad because I like this. That's done, thankfully. That sucked. That was not easy. Throw the passenger side marker light on there. Easy peasy. That's nothing important or special or relevant. But there you have it. That's installed. Now, time to turn the car around so I have some more room to work on the other side and kind of install all the same parts again, just on the driver's side. passenger side worked. Now I made my way back to the passenger side to finish up the door handle. I found the piece that I was missing is actually the metal bracket that holds the door handle in there. Uh, I, I wasn't sure where I put it but I ended up finding it later and that wraps up the install of both door handles. Now both door panels I'm gonna leave off and that's to continue to diagnose this passenger side window motor issue. I don't know if I'll ever get to the bottom of it but I'm not gonna quit not yet. Window obviously still not fixed, but door handle is in. Making really good progress. 
third brake light plugged in and plopped in there pretty easily. That's a pretty nice design by Porsche. Now it is all plastic, so I wouldn't be surprised in the future if it breaks, but for now, it's in and it works. Now on to all of the dreaded seals. This is what I was least looking forward to, getting all these seals in place and permanently affixed, if you will. I was worried they weren't going to go in, or even if I got them in, they weren't going to stay in. Now, that's yet to be seen. I guess I'll find out whenever I drive the car more, but to my surprise, I actually got all of these seals in really easily. Now, once I figured out which roof rack rail, that's what you want to call it, say that five times fast, goes aware, I started putting the seals on those, which was, again, a pain. But once I got that figured out, I had to figure out actually how the clips worked because I didn't really take the clips out of the channel. This was not fun, getting that seal on there. That was a pain. Now it's the fun part, get it back in the car. Once I got all that figured out, I was able to get both of the roof rails, if that's what you want to call them, installed, and they look really, really nice. Very glad I took those apart, had them painted with the seals off, and they just, they look fresh and nice and OEM, especially you get along with that nice non-black roof. Now that I have the sliders on there, now I've messed up my seal again, so that's, so that's fun. That's great. Based on what I learned on the other side, I'm going to set the side up a little differently, give myself a little better chance of success. That was a pain. I did get a special delivery that will hopefully fix this headlight and its floppiness. Because that's not supposed to be like that. Now at this point I'd been in the garage for a few hours. Unsurprisingly, you know, all my cameras started dying. So you didn't get the full shot of me taking the old one out and putting the new one in. But here's me installing the new one. Pretty straightforward. Let's see if it fixes the loose headlight. If this locks it in nice and tight, I'd be very happy if it does. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. Holy crap. Oh, that feels excellent. That headlight has never felt like that. It's tight in there, sweet. To my surprise, everything had gone really, really smoothly so far. I was very shocked. So, one of the rear bumper get the rear camera back, get the wires run, get it plugged in, get the rear bumperette delete panel back on, get the license plate back on. All that is very simple and went as expected. Now my plan is I do want to change out my delete bracket. I want to get a nicer one, maybe like one of the laser cut ones that's made, but for now I'm just putting that on there because it's better than having huge holes in a bumper. But backup camera's hooked up. 
Everything is good. I think the only thing I have left to do is the front emblem on the hood. And that's pretty amazing. I did not think I'd get this far, especially putting in the new headlight bracket and fixing that and doing all that. This car still has a ton of work left, but it's about to be drivable. Gentlemen, we're down to the last part of this install, which I was saving for last, unless I forgot something, which I probably did. The Porsche emblem. Before I put this on, I'm gonna just remove this old stuff and put some new double-sided tape on there. Not that it needs tape, but just so this metal isn't digging into the hood. Just a little smidgen of 3M tape, that'll do it. What's great is, too, I don't have to align this. It literally just, you know, it has holes, so. Whew. Oh, that's a big moment for me, guys. That is a big moment, wow. Beautiful. We got not one tight headlight, but two tight headlights and a Porsche badge and match paint and just a happy mat. Do you ever just sit back and stare at your car? Because that's what I've been doing for like the last half an hour. I'm so happy with this thing. Oh, would you look at the time? Well, this video is too long. You'll just have to wait for the full reveal in the next video, along with some special goodies I may or may not show off. Thanks for watching, guys. Sure. You'll have to, you started recording, so push